Hello there friends and welcome back to Robin Norgren's uh, YouTube channel and we are talking today about learning about nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. Let's get started. Now let's first talk about nouns. Nouns are words that name people, animals, places, things, or ideas. Names can be, in, excuse me, nouns can be common nouns or proper nouns. Common nouns are general names like cat or city. So as we see in this picture, here is a beautiful cat. If you knew the name of this cat, that would be called a proper noun. But just saying the word cat just identifies what it is that you are looking at. That is called a common noun. All right, so let's do a quick review of what an improper noun is. An improper noun are generic nouns or what we call common nouns. So when you hear the word common noun or improper noun, we are discussing the same thing. So it's when you identify the item that you're looking at, like person, city, that's my school, I live in this city. But if you were to tell me the name of your school or the name of the city that you live in, then we would term that the proper noun. And with the proper nouns, of course, we remember, we would have to capitalize those nouns. Now let's talk about what we call the function of the noun or what is the noun's job. Nouns can be subjects of sentences. For example, in the sentence, the dog runs, what would be the noun in that sentence? That's right, it would be dog. And if we were to identify what the subject is of the sentence or what the sentence is referring to or talking about, we would also say dog. Nouns can also be objects of sentences like I saw the cat. Nouns can show ownership with use of apostrophes. For example, the dog's ear. So when you're looking at the dog and you want to talk about this particular dog's ear, you would use an apostrophe and therefore write it as the dog's with an apostrophe S ear. All right, so let's do a quick review. True or false? A noun is a word that names a person, place, animal, or idea or thing. True or false? Okay, now let's talk about the function of a pronoun. Pronouns that are, are words that take the place of a noun. They make sentences shorter and they also make it what we call less repetitive. Let me give you an example. John went to the store. John saw green beans at the store. John saw tomatoes at the store. John saw jalapenos at the store. John saw plums at the store. You hear how that repetition, and it almost makes your ear a little bit bored and tired from hearing the same thing. So, beautiful thing is we have a word that we can use called pronouns that can change the way um, the sentence is structured and also helps you to have a little bit more of a differentiation in each of the sentences that you say. John and Sam went to the store. They both liked the green beans and the tomatoes. Sally was at the store too. She doesn't like plums. You see the difference? All right, let's test what we just found out. Which pronoun can replace the noun dog in the sentence, the dog barks? A, he, B, cat, C, tree, or D, book? All right, so now let's talk about the function of verbs. Verbs are action words that show what someone or something does. They can also show what we call a state of being or existence, like is or am or are or were. Verbs can be used in the past, the present, or the future tense. Let's discuss this a little more. Here's a fun fact about verbs. 
do you know that the longest word in the English language without a vowel is the word rhythm? The word run can have over 100 different meanings. And some verbs can also be used as nouns. Did you know that? Words like love and balance. Let me give you an example. I love my mom. When you use love in that way in a sentence, we call that what? A verb, because it's giving the action. You're doing something towards your mom. You're loving her. But you can also use love as a noun. Love is the way they like to show affection. Love in that sentence is called a noun. Now let's talk about the functions of adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe or modify nouns. Specifically what they do is they add details and make sentences more interesting. Adjectives can describe colors, sizes, or feelings. So look at this little boy. It seems like he's at a birthday party. What words would you use to describe the boy? What words would you use to describe the setting? What words would you describe the feelings? Take a few moments and talk about that with your partner and start to think about, point out what words you would use to describe each of those different um, topics in this picture. Okay, here's a fun way to use adjectives. Would you rather be a happy elephant or a sad bird? Well, now let's talk about the functions of adverbs. Adverbs are words that describe or modify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. They tell us how, when, where, and why something is happening. Here's examples of adverbs, and here's a little clue. Many times, adverbs in in the sound li, or ly ending, like slowly, quickly, happily, suddenly. What other words can you and your partner come up with that you now know is an adverb? Did you know that the word almost is an adverb that means nearly or not quite? Adverbs can also be used to compare actions like she ran faster than him. Some adverbs don't end in ly, like soon or now. All right, so let's do a quick review of the parts of speech. We've learned about nouns. We've learned about pronouns. We've learned about verbs. We've learned about adjectives. And we've learned about adverbs. Nouns are words that name people, animals, places, things, or ideas. Pronouns take the place of nouns. Verbs are action words that show something or someone what they're doing. Adjectives describe or modify nouns. Adverbs describe or modify verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. And as you can see, all of these jobs that all of these words are doing, they make for a beautiful and rich storytelling situation. So as you start to think about writing stories, you can imagine that the more parts of speech that you put into your story, the more entertaining and informative and just plain interesting to read your story will be. All right, so let's take a little break and this is what I would like you to do. I would like you to think of a sentence that uses a noun, a pronoun, a verb, an adjective, and an adverb. And then I want you to share that sentence with a partner or with a group. Now, if your teacher allows you to do that, maybe you can work with your partner to come up with this sentence. Okay, so let's recap some key takeaways from this video. We know about nouns. We know about pronouns, we know about verbs, we know about adjectives, and we know about adverbs. 
I would like you to now write a sentence or, or a story inspired by this picture. Make sure to use many of the words that show your understanding of each one of these parts of speech. I can't wait to hear how your stories come together. Thanks so much for stopping by. And if you like these types of videos, make sure to like and subscribe.